Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are replacing the starter on my 2007 Cummins. So, as if I don't have enough projects going on, hopped in the truck the other day, went to start, nothing but a click, the starter is shot. And it's very unfortunate because I just replaced the starter less than two years ago, uh, almost the same problem. And I think it was my poor judgment in going with an AutoZone starter. It was the, the Duralast brand. It was convenient at the time because I wasn't at home. Luckily this time it broke down in my driveway, a little easier to work on. And so I ordered this starter from Extreme Diesel Power. Uh, it's a heavy duty gear reduction starter. It's supposed to draw less power and last much longer than the, the stock starter and hopefully longer than this Duralast starter. So I saw a lot of good reviews in this and I thought it was a good time to try it out. Like I said, it was stuck in my driveway. I had time for it to ship and stuff. This unit in particular is good for the 2007 to the 2016 Ram with the Cummins engine. And it looks like a nice heavy duty thing. They did do a wrinkle black, um, I'm not sure if this is a powder coating or a paint on it, but uh, not necessary, but definitely a really nice touch. But I'm more interested in the fact that it should hopefully last longer and the gear reduction in is a 5.5 to 1 which will hopefully give it more to more torque make it easier on the electrical system in general which isn't always great on these trucks so let's get started this isn't much different than replacing starters in most other vehicles so just like any other electrical project we're going to start by removing the negatives on both the batteries so the starter on these trucks is located right there which if you go underneath it's right here so here's your starter and then you've got three bolts that hold it in as well as the power connector on it positive from the battery and then a little plug right there so I started with the easiest one, pulled that plug off. Then we're gonna go up to take the power connector off right here, which is just a nut and a washer. So the third starter bolt is back here. So you gotta remove this bracket here to get to that. Then you got this one here, and then one on the top, which is also a bitch to get to. So there's no easy way to get this top one. This is what little tip I have here is to get all the bolts loosened, then remove the top one, then remove the bottom two. The last thing you want is the to be fighting with that top bolt and have the starter come loose and fall on your face. Now that it's out, here's a quick little side-by-side -side of the two. Before installing the new starter, I want to make sure this area is nice and clean because that's, that's how it gets its... Uh, Electrical connection to negative or ground, and you want to just push this up to make sure it's got a good connection.
Now that the new starter's in place, we're on to the easy part. We're gonna do everything we did in reverse. Put the starter bolts on, put the electrical connections on, and re-put on that bracket between the engine and transmission. All right, moment of truth. So that's it. Truck started no problem. Happy to have the truck back. Until next time. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you like what you see, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel for more. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments below.